Hello, I'm Mick Monninghoff, and welcome to our fourth edition of The Comebacks as we take a look back at some of the greatest come-from-behind victories in the history of the Massachusetts Pirates. On this occasion, the date was June 16, 2018, at the DCU Center. The 6-3 and three Pirates were taking on the 5-2 and two Columbus Lions. Now, earlier in the season, Massachusetts had defeated Columbus in walk-off fashion with LeVon Pearson catching a touchdown pass from Sean Bracken. Now, who says lightning can't strike twice in the same place? The Lions' Mason Espinosa and Deron Neal were having a great night. Espinosa had three rushing touchdowns, and Neal had nine receptions for 123 yards and three scores as the Lions held a 55-48 lead. But in the final minute, Sean Brackett would throw his sixth touchdown pass of the night to ignite a comeback. Pagante on the near side, Brown comes in motion. Pagante goes to the far side, it goes to Brown, caught, touchdown! <laughs> Devin Brown, another touchdown catch. He's got his 15th on the season. He has been so much fun to watch, not only with his speed and his quickness, but his understanding of the game as the year has gone along. This is a great play call by Coach Payton. What you see is you see Bagate coming there. He's going to draw that backside defensive back up because Brown had shown that he was going to the corner. So the, as the backside guy says, well, I'm going to let my safety take care of him. As soon as he drives down on that drag route, Brown takes it over the top. And again, like he was in the first half a time or two, he out leverages the guy that's got him. And with his speed, he's certainly going to get there. Critical extra point for Ali Mortada. Placement down. Here comes the kick. And this one is good. We are tied at 55 with 51 seconds of play. Devin Brown had three scores on the evening and 105 receiving yards. Still, the Lions had the ball and the Pirates needed to make a play. It is Johnson in motion and that ball is a lateral. It's loose. And we'll see if the Pirates get it. The Pirates have it. They threw a lateral pass. It was deflected and taken for pure boy. And the Pirates come up with it. Who got it? Darrell Render. Darrell Render comes up for the football. That set the stage for Brackett and Pearson to work their magic once again. The goal at the two yard line for the Pirates as they're trying to lock up another victory. Go to seven and three on the season. Now Bagante will be in motion. A quick screen to the goal line. Did he break the play? They say touchdown. And that is Pearson. Pearson caught a touchdown to beat Columbus in the last five seconds, the first time they played, and it looks like he may have done it again. Wow. Well, that was just, everyone up in this area knows what that was. That was just like the two-point conversion in the Super Bowl oh against the Falcons gosh. and Amendola. I mean, they took that, and you have to have the quarterback get the ball in. I did not even quickly. think of that. Yeah. That is JJ. That is, that's giving me goosebumps. That's literally what this, yeah. you know? I mean, people in the area and the Pirates can thank the Patriots for a lot. They can thank her for one more thing. Once again, our final score tonight at the DCU Center, the Massachusetts Pirates with a 62-55 win over the Columbus Lions. Well, we had Harvey Lange from the New England Patriots Thanks in the booth tonight. Me. Always a pleasure. What do you think watching the Pirates oh, play man. here? Oh, man, you know, it's high intensity today. Everyone was on the edge of their seats or standing. Um, you know, I was super, super happy that I made it out tonight. It was a great game to be out here. Great game. Happy. So for the second time in five weeks, the Pirates had defeated the Lions on a last-second touchdown grab by LeVon Pearson. What were the odds of that? Join us next time right here on The Comebacks. I'm McMonaghan.